this video, I want to talk about the best editing software for a food photographer. So if you're into food photography, product photography, and to be honest, this software works for any photography. The best you can get is Capture One, and I'm going to tell you why. But before I do that, you need to understand that there's two different types of editing within photography. One of which is the raw conversion, and the other is the manipulation. Now, Photoshop from Adobe, when it comes to manipulation, is and always will be the best. It is so well made, it is the industry standard. When it comes to manipulating your images, Photoshop is the one. But when it comes to capture, storage, archiving, and color processing, Capture One beats Adobe hands down, and here is why. First up, it's stability. If you've been using Adobe for a while like I have, you'll be familiar with shooting and having to restart the software repeatedly, it getting slower and slower as the day goes on, and just generally crashing at random, much like the editing software for the videos that I use for this, I have to autosave as regularly as possible because all of a sudden out of the blue it just goes, it's crashed, goodbye. And it is infuriating, especially at 50 pounds a month. I buy the full Adobe suite and also buy Capture One. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start at the, the filing system. And this is where for people like me, when we're badly organized, and I'm really badly organized, Capture One is great. So Lightroom works like this. You have a catalog, you choose where your images will be saved as the raw files, which could be anywhere, and then you export wherever you want, which could be anywhere. But in Capture One, you have your folder, and it might be called Cheeseburger Shoot. Within that, you have your import, if you plug a card in, capture for tethering, your session folder, which is like your catalog, I guess. Um, then you have your output, which is your exports of all different types into subfolders and anything you've deleted, it all stays within one file. So you don't have that horrendous moment, which everyone has with Lightroom, where you open it up and it's like, I've moved the raw files. Where are my raw files? They're no longer linked. We've got to find them, relink them and all that bad jazz. Then let's bring it into the actual capture. Now I shoot tethered for everything. This is tethered, I've got a screen here. If you're wondering why I keep doing this, it's because I wanna make sure I'm still filming. But the, the tether ability, tether ability, that's not a word. The tether shooting is so good. It never crashes, it never goes down. It finds the camera instantly and it's just great. It's fast, especially even with these high res cameras, I've shot 100 to 50 megapixel raw files through it and it's brilliant. It lets you do live view within the software. Lightroom, if you want to have live view, which most of us still life and food people do, especially when working with stylists, you have to use the Canon EOS utility, for example, get your live view there, shoot the image, put it onto the desktop, have Lightroom over here go, find this file, auto import, and then view the image. It is a nightmare. With Capture One, it's all within the one screen. You can adjust your focus, you can micro adjust it, you can auto focus it, you can pull a focusing mask up, it's brilliant. Which brings me through to Onion Skin, which I didn't know was called Onion Skin until Ben told me last week, I just called it Overlay. The Onion Skin is where if you're shooting for a magazine or something with text in an advert, you can get the PSD file for that with a transparent layer and you can overlay it onto the image in live view and in capture. Now it's not permanently there, you can remove it again quickly, but it lets you see what the image will look like in its final context, which is so important for the sort of work that I do. Now the final thing, and I think Lightroom's actually caught up with this now, is the multiple export. I can export TIFF, original, full res JPEG, preview web res JPEG, all at the same time to independent folders just by ticking boxes, rather than having to go export this one, here's a folder, hit export, right click, export, and you know, all that jazz in Lightroom. We have to constantly set up new ones, then it gets like stuck and crunches to a halt. It just works better in Capture One. Now, I know that Lightroom's cheaper because if you're buying Capture One, you're going to need Photoshop anyway, and that comes free sort of or as a bundle with Lightroom. But if you want to be a professional, then this is the way to go. Every one of my clients when they come in here gets this app called Capture Pilot. And if they don't get the app because they haven't got an updated phone, they get a web link sent to them and they can view the shoot in real time and see exactly what I'm doing. And they can mark images, five star, whatever it may be for me to see later. So we can keep people at different ends of the studio. And after all this craziness at the moment in the world is finished, I'm sure that's gonna be even more popular when people wanna keep their distance from one another. So let me know in the comments below what you're using. If you're thinking you're going to Capture One, what's making you thinking about going there? Thinking about going there? My English is not good today. And what's stopping you from going there? Let me know how you feel about it. I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye.